Hi everyone, welcome to Feline Jungle. Today I'm going to talk about a highly requested video which is how to make a moss pole. So just a basic definition, a moss pole is a structure that provides extra support for any of your climbing plants, especially aeroids like philodendrons and monsteras. In their natural habitat, these plants climb up trees in search of more light and they latch onto moist bark so that they can climb up with their aerial roots. So to mimic that kind of environment, we use moss poles, which are basically a bamboo stick with a layer of moss that creates a perfect climbing condition. There are places where you can buy pre-made ones that I can show you later, but I started making my own because I was looking for a specific size. So these are examples I have right here and they go from like small, medium to large and you can just make it however you want to customize it for your plant. Here I have my Philodendron Silver Sword. Uh, it started out as a plant with only two leaves and it tripled during the summer so it needed a pole and it's doing so much happier. The leaves are actually a lot bigger compared to the ones on the bottom. As you can see here, this is the newest leaf. And then on this one, this is my Philodendron Brandy. And this one was getting really lengthy. It was getting very long and the leaves kept getting smaller and smaller. So I knew it was time to give it a moss pole. So I basically just wrapped it around the pole and it's giving me new leaves right here and here. And then this one, my last one, is my Monstera Peru. The Monstera Peru is another climbing plant. Um, it doesn't really need a moss pole yet, but I figured why not just make it a moss pole because I usually make them in batches. So yeah, it's doing very happy and I'll show you how to attach your plant to the pole later. Okay, so let me just take these aside and show you what plant we're going to be making a moss pole for today. Now I'm going to show you how to make a moss pole for my Florida ghost philodendron. So this guy tripled in size during the summer too, and I actually had it right next to my humidifier. So these aerial roots started shooting out. Um, it's looking for something to climb onto, so it's time to give it a moss pole. So let's get started and I'm going to bring the materials out so you can see what I use. And we're back. Here are all the materials that you will need to make a moss bowl. Starting first, we have a bamboo stick. This one I got it for around $8. It came in a pack of 20 that were four feet long. The one I have here is already pre-cut to the size I need for the Florida Ghost. When you cut it, make sure you uh, account for enough space for what goes into the soil because that part is what keeps your moss pole stable and from wobbling around. I cut this using a cutting tool that I had from my model making days in architecture school, but I'm pretty sure you can buy a saw or something from Home Depot that will cut this. Next thing you'll need is some moss. So this moss I got for around $15. This is um, sphagnum moss for reptiles. What I like about this is that it's sustainably harvested from New Zealand and also it doesn't have impurities like the moss you get for gardening. There's no extra twigs or anything like that. It's just straight up moss. And here I already prepped it by rinsing it out and I also gave it a squeeze so that the moss is damp but it's not wet. You want damp moss. So now that we have that, the next thing you need is some string. This one I got for three bucks and it's a lot of string. You can use this for wrapping around the moss to keep it attached to the bamboo stick. Once you have that, here are the items that I use to attach your actual plant onto the moss pole. So this is um, some green gardening wire that you can get at a 99 cent store for like two bucks. And it's just, you can easily use this or you can use this Velcro gardening strip. What I like about this is that it's reusable and it's also sturdier. So depending on what plant you're attaching onto it, you might alternate on which one you wanna use. So yeah, this is all you need. So let's get started. I'm gonna put these aside and bring the plant here so you guys can see. First step you want to do is make sure there's enough space to stick the moss pole in it. 
So here I'm going to leave this much and start the pull from here upwards. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Starting here, you're going to tie the string onto the pole. Just like this. I just give it like a regular knot. Make sure you have enough string at the end here because this is where you'll be tying off the other end of the string. So let me just tie this here. Like that. Like this. And then this is the other part of the string. So now we can start adding the moss to it. What I do is that I grab a handful. I wrap it around like this. And then I just start wrapping it around as I hold on to the moss to make sure it's in place. And I just turn it. Depending on how thick you want the moss bolt to be, you can add more moss. But this is good. So yeah, as you turn, you just keep adding more. Yours might look funny at first, but it's just practice. I My first one was pretty ugly. <laughs> and then the more I did it, the more I got used to the motion of putting the moss and then turning the, the pole. Don't worry if you have some loose ends like this because later we're gonna go back and we're gonna wrap the pole again with the string. Okay, so now that we're closer to the top, right here, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Wrap it around. Wrap it around twice and then go back down. So now you have like the basic form of your pole. You see there's a lot of loose ends. So we're just gonna go back and make sure that those are wrapped into the pole. So, and there are many different ways to make a moss pole. Some people make it with the wired mesh. The good thing about the wire mesh is that uh, it's wider and I feel like the aerial roots cling on better, but it's a lot more work to make the wire mesh because you have to cut it and stuff like that. So I prefer doing this because it's quick. There's still a bit of loose end, so I'm just gonna go back another time and try to get all this moss in there. Right now I'm going on like a crisscross action. So I'm just trying to go cross where I did it before so I could wrap these loose ends in. Oh yeah, and uh, don't do it too tight because you want some room so that the arrow roots can attach onto the moss. So I'm not doing it too tight. That's also why I wet the moss so that it will keep the shape of the moss pole when the moss is wet. If I tighten it too much, then it doesn't really have that same effect. All right, so now I'm at the bottom. Remember this guy? Now we're just gonna tie it together. And that's it, that's how you make it. It's pretty easy. It's like a shrimp tempura. And there you have it, a moss pole. So you can, I leave the ends here just in case you want to reuse it or you want to dismantle your moss pole and you can just un untie the knot and it'll come loose. You can reuse it for other things, uh, but right now we're just gonna put it in here and put it right in here. And then have the aerial roots wrap around it already. In this case, I'm gonna use the gardening tape what you want to do is make sure that there's enough space. It's long enough that it'll wrap around the pole. Okay, this is perfect. So I just do this. Let me tighten it. And that's it. That's how you make a moss pole for your plants. I actually don't like the aesthetic of a moss pole, but I realized that my plants really like it and they're happier with it. So I've learned to like the moss pole more. Um, yeah, if you do it this way, it's less 
eye popping if you do it on a wire mesh it kind of just stands out that's also the reason why i like doing it on this moss and string because it, it doesn't stand out as much and then as your plant grow bigger it'll actually hide the pole which is a good thing and then you just keep attaching it onto the pole as it grows up and if you keep spraying the arrow roots eventually it'll start hugging the moss pole so yeah, this is my DIY moth pole. I can show you a pre-made one that I also bought. So this is a pre-made one that I got off Amazon. This one comes in a pack of two for 20 bucks. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. The stake is huge and just putting it on my Florida ghost is like, it's not the right size for it. So. That's why I made my own, but I use this for my other Florida Ghost, which is a lot bigger. That one's in a 12 inch pot and it, there's two plants in it. So it needs a sturdier moss pole, which is why I like this one. The DIY one could be a little bit um, unstable if it gets too big. So I like this one because it's sturdy. It's made of, of PVC pipe inside, which give it that thickness. The other difference is that it's made of coco choir other than moss. So it's harder for your plants to actually attach itself on this. You have to constantly spray it and it actually doesn't retain the moisture as much. But I just like how it's made already and it's extendable. So right now I bought a set of two. I have one installed and as my plant gets bigger, I just put it in that PVC pipe hole and it just keeps extending it along with my plant, which is what I like about it. So yeah, you can either buy this or make your own. So just summarizing, buying this is like 20 bucks for a set of two. It's already pre-made. Um, buying all the materials that I listed before is around, I would say like 30 bucks. But then you have like so much supplies to make so many moth poles. Um, yeah, you get like 20 sticks that are four feet long, so you can make as many moss poles as you like. So in the long run, if you have a lot of plants that are climbing plants and you plan on making a lot, then I recommend making your own compared to just buying it like this, depending on your need. That's it for this video. I'll list all these materials in my description box below. Um, if you guys have a different way of making a moss pole or this is how you make it as well, leave it in the comments below. I would love to know your experience and how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!